Hello YouTube, Dogfoot9 here and welcome to another episode of the Arsenal Career Mode. And today, well I've got a bit of an apology because you know, I haven't uploaded all over the weekend. It's probably because I couldn't render out a episode because my, my computer was going a bit, you know, crazy and stuff like that. Um, I don't think it was a software as such, I think it was just a bunch of little problems. I'll sort them out now um, as I'm giving you an episode right here. Um, so we're just getting prepared for our first match which is against Crystal Palace in the league which I really wanted to win but Crystal Palace are a newly promoted team. I've I think the only time I've ever played them in a previous FIFA um, would have been like when they were back in the Premier League on a really old FIFA. I haven't played them that much recently. I've never been drawn in the cup against them, I don't think. I might have been drawn against them once or twice, I can't remember. Um, but I haven't really played them too much. And I don't really know too much about QP, um, not QPR, uh, Crystal Palace because they've only just been promoted. I don't really follow... Um, like the championship, I follow a bit maybe of League 2 and League 1, just you know, because the odd ones from around where I live and stuff like that. Um, but um, really, there's not too many championship teams around um, which I like know about really, except from QPR, who I know have been relegated, and I just like following Harry Redknapp because he's quite a good manager and I like him. But anyway. Getting into this episode's first game, and we've got Monreal on the left wing here, passes it out to Podolski, and Podolski cuts back inside. Obviously, he can't use that right foot too well on the inside because of his terrible weak foot. Um, it's not as bad as it was in FIFA 13, I think we've toned down the effect of a weak foot. Um, but Kelvin here gets in on his right foot, he's got 5 star skills, but 3 star weak foot, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter because when he's crossing in like that to Bentner, Bentner gets his head to it, and outside Chamberlain just follows in and blasts that into a corner, into practically an open net. So, anyway, I want you guys to let me know what you think about the patch, because recently it's been really hard for you to score goals, and it seems that EA just seem to be able to still score goals as easily as they could, but it seems that defending is the same, and you can't score as much, because obviously crossing's been toned down, and finesse shots have been as well, and Bannerman there scores for them into an easy goal, you know, EA just trolling me there, calling out Chesney when I didn't really even want him to be called out, I don't know what happened. I probably could have been able to stop uh, their attack with my defender there. Or Chesney would have saved it from his in his net because he was in a really bad position for striker. But Chesney comes and tr tries to punch it away but hits it to the side. And you know, they equalise in the like 56th minute and from then on we couldn't really score. Because we were kind of tired I and mean, we really did want to win and well we wanted to um, try and conserve as much energy because we've got Doncaster next um, in the champion and uh, not in the Champions Cup but um, in the League Cup and then we've got Real Madrid in the next match um, which is in the Champions Cup obviously and I'm trying to get three more three episodes in um, 30 games into one episode here so um, hopefully it isn't too rushed for you guys um, but we are just looking around the squad here I, obviously Jenkinson is going to be out for a couple more episodes probably until about December time I think that's when he comes off his injury well he gets better from his injury and I'm just looking around my defenders here and I'm um, not my defenders but my attackers here and I just noticed that because Nicholas Benton and Giroud they're not really too good um, at anything else except from heading well Giroud is a bit better but Nicholas Benton his main selling point is heading and because of Nerfa I'm looking here and I'm trying to think why should I keep him in the transfer window because ever since he's, I've, he's been nerfed um, his heading well everyone's head has been nerfed he hasn't been really good uh, too good of a striker so I think I'm going to start using a couple I'm going to start uh, experimenting with like Sonogo, uh, per, not Podolski, uh, Royce as striker because I think he'd be quite good for us and maybe some other strikers can probably gonna strike and um, sell Bentner or Giroud or maybe even both and try and get in another um, striker because I've got quite a few strikers at the moment I've got um, Markovic which I want to keep at the end of the season as I've got Sonogo, I've got Royce and I've got Podolski who I can drop in if I want to and also I've got quite a few wing players who I can use if I want to um, if I want to put Podolski as a striker I can put them in as I can put him in as a winger. But as you can see there, I did come it, it didn't take well, we didn't even score in that game. Neither teams had scored. Um, and we had to go straight down to a penalty shootout as you can see here. And Mikel Arteta, who hasn't really had too much of an impact, and I'm probably gonna sell him because he's thirty two um, soon. Puts away that penalty for us, and that just shows his really good experience to allow us to put that away that um, penalty. Now, Doncaster, I was hoping that we would score um, win against, and I hit the post with a star man who has scored about four goals in the Capital One Cup for them. And then Giroud steps up, who's one of our star men, and he slots it straight down the middle, nice and confidently there. Um, and then the next penalty taker comes up, and I think he's going to put it to the left here. Um, but I changed my mind at the last moment, and he puts it to the left, well his left, and I go to my left, but you know, we can't save them all the time, and we're not going to hit the post all the time, but we just need to score them, that's all we need to do, and Ozil, 
just gets a bit lucky there, you know, the keeper did, did dive a bit too far, you know, that's what you get with those lower rated uh, goalkeepers, they dive a bit too far further, um, to where they're supposed to be, um, and they put it to the left once again, and I go the same way once again, and I thought, you know what, they might just go over to the side I was going to go to, but I decided to put it down the middle and try and get it over the keeper, but that doesn't work, and Walcott misses penalty, which evens up again, and you know what, I'm thinking, they are going to go down that side, I'm never going to go down that side, but once again, they go down on the same side again and they miss, but this time, you know what, I decide to go with a trick and try and go down that side, but at the last minute, I change it, you know, they knew I was going to try and do um, the same thing again, probably, or oh, the same thing as they were going to do, and I decided, you know what, to change it at the last moment, and so we can score, and Marlon takes us through into the next round of the Capital One Cup, and that was a bit too hard, really, we shouldn't have been struggling against Doncaster at home, really, we shouldn't have been do struggling against Doncaster at all, so we've got to get ready for this next game against Real Madrid, and against Real Madrid, we've got to put out the best team possible, so that means putting Ozil on, um, Mocker Royce, I was thinking of playing him as Cam, but then I decided to put him as striker, you know, test him out, well not test him out, but see if he can handle it against such a physical team as Real Madrid, because you know what, they've got Pepe playing, Bahrain, um, people like that, people who can come back and just tack him off the ball, I need to see if he's strong enough to keep hold, hold of it, and if it's not, maybe I can just sub on Giroud like halfway through the game, or something like that. So anyway, I'm just looking around the squad here, trying to find the top rated players, which I've got in the squad, like my Ozil's, and my Chesney's obviously, because Chesney's a really good player, and I want to probably keep him, I might try and find another goalkeeper, but you never know, I might just probably just keep him for a bit, and see if he can grow at all. Um, but I'm just looking around my entire squad here, trying to get as much experience on the pitch as possible because um, against Real Madrid you're going to have a tough time if you've got quite a young squad because they will probably just use their experience and pass it around them a bit um, but we get into this game here and Real Madrid I was expecting a strong team and the second we step up here who is it? who's going to step up? you know just one of the star men every, every time when you play against Real Madrid it's going to be one of the star men I think it's Isco there um, I think it was anyway, 23, I'm sure that's his skill. I was expecting Ronaldo, but um, his skill, he's still a really good young striker. Well, not striker, uh, centre attacking midfielder. Um, and he can really hold up the ball and take it around your defenders. And we get into this game here, and Ozil, the former Real Madrid man, crosses it in, gets it onto Koscielny's head, and Koscielny scores for us there to make it 1 0. Um, and that's really good to see. And it also shows that, you know, he can still score the odd header. So it kind of like restores a bit of faith in Nicholas Bentner and Giroud slightly for me there, but you know it's not as powerful as it was, but then Ozil gets through, the former Real Madrid man, he's um, put one into a box and helped score one, and he scores one there for us to go 2-0 up in the game, and that's how the game finishes guys, So, and that's also how the episode is going to finish, so anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, also subscribe for more FIFA 14 and Battlefield 4 when it comes out videos, and until next time, I'll see you guys later, bye.